Hello, this is Jerry with CADKitchenPlans.com here in another installment of Kitchen and Bath 3D AutoCAD where I show you how I use uh, AutoCAD uh, in 3D mode to provide drawings for the kitchen and bath industry. I'd like to start by showing you uh, one of the ways to draw a base cabinet. I'm going to go through several ways, but um, the first way I'm going to show you is, uh, is maybe the easiest way. Um, I'm start by drawing a box. And AutoCAD will prompt me to enter dimensions for that box. And we know that if we're working with a base cabinet, it's going to be 24 inches deep. Um, I'll choose 21 inches wide. And then let's say it's going to be 34 and a half inches high, which is standard um, base cabinet height. But you can see all it gives me here is, uh, is just a cube. No, nothing else going on with it other than the dimensions that we entered. So I have to do some editing to it. And I think I'm going to start with the toe kick. So I'm going to grab another box, uh, click it on the existing box, and it's going to ask me for dimensions again, just like it did before. And I'm going to call the depth 3 inches. I'm going to call the width, now let's make it 24 inches. And I'm going to call the height 4 inches. So you can see we're hollowing out a 3 inch deep, 4 inch high toe kick. And from here, it's a simple matter of subtracting one item from the other. So we'll go and pick the subtract command, uh, click on the item that we're subtracting from, click on the item that we are removing from that item, hit enter, and it gives us a nice little toe kick. But you can see we're still a ways off from making it look like a cabinet. I want to use uh, what's called the shell command uh, to start hollowing this thing out. and. Uh, pretty neat command. Just entered 0.625 for my thickness and it gave me remove this front face and the bottom face and left me with a 5 8 inch thick wall all the way around. But we're still not uh, still not obviously there yet. We uh, don't have a bottom on this cabinet so I'm going to spin it around and try to move in and get that done. The way I do that is I'll just add another box to the box. Uh, just kind of like what we, what we did before, only we're going to keep this one. AutoCAD will track, so I clicked on the back point here. I selected box, clicked on the back point. I'm going to bring it up four inches, hit enter, and you can see here's the beginning of our box. The only thing I have to do now is click on the back of the toe kick and kind of eyeball it. I think that's it. Take a look and make sure I hit it. Looks like I did. So we're going to join these two entities though. Right now, like I said, we have a bottom and a box, but we need to join those. So I'm going to use the union command. See it up there. So I'm going to pick the box, pick the bottom, hit enter, and it turns it all into one entity. So now it's a hollowed out case with a bottom in it. And uh, Still not there yet, though. We need to do some other work on the top. So we want to create rails in the top of the cabinet, and I'm going to do that by creating some reference points first. Um, and I, I know that that end panel is 5 eighths of an inch thick, so I'm going to point, type in 0.625 for this reference line. And then I'm going to bring it out uh, 3.625. That's going to be the width of it. Um, and then I know that the front rail also is similar. Um, I want to come over 5 eighths of an inch. And then I want to go back 3 inches. So now it's a matter of creating a box there. And I'm going to snap on the two reference points that I created. And that gives me my box. But right now I've got a box on top of a box, not really what I'm looking for. What I really want to do is extend this through the existing cabinet, which I can do by simply dragging it down. And then I'm going to go back and use the subtract command again. So I'm going to subtract from the cabinet box I just created, click enter, and it gives me the hollowed out top. Now I'll erase the uh, reference lines. So we've got this starting to look more like a cabinet. 
maybe I want to add a mid rail to this. And I know that uh, in a 21 inch wide ca cabinet, um, we're going to have a, a 19 and 3 quarter inch um, inside width. So let's create another rail, or another box actually. And we're going to call it 3 inches uh, deep. And we're going to call it. Point six two five high, and for width we said nineteen and three quarter. And there's our rail. We need to snap it into place, so let's move it over there and drop it in. Grab the outside corner. Again, we're going to auto track from this point down. And let's say we want to give it five inches. And there it is right there. And I'll just spin it around, make sure it's. Yeah, it looks like it's where I want it to be. And just like before, we want to union these two parts to make them one part. Uh, so we'll go back with the union command select the cabinet, select the rail, hit enter, and now we've got what looks like a cabinet. That's it for this time. I'm going to show you some different methods. Uh, AutoCAD, you know, there are many ways to skin the cat based on what you want to do with it. Maybe you just want to show this as a detailed drawing. Maybe you're into manufacturing and you need to show each part. I'm going to walk you through some of those as well. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode.